So, welcome to How to Build a Mega City Part 6. This is where we press play. Um, just gonna let the city load up a bit here because uh, I just zoomed out there and I know it never loads up even though it looks like it has. I'm just gonna give it one more second here before I press play. Basically, the last video, what we did was uh, build all these uh, hospitals in the corners along the sides, put the pipes in for the water and put the uh, water treatment and the water pumps in. The water pumps aren't gonna last too long because they're all just small ones, so I'm gonna have to upgrade those pretty quickly once it starts building out. But, uh, looks like we're good to go here, so away we go, press play. And uh, one thing to note is that every time I do this, uh, cities always develop totally differently. Um, they never develop the same, no matter even if I've done almost everything uh, in the same kind of pattern, same area, same same everything else. The grid is always the same, obviously, in the, uh, the zoning, but sometimes I would change up like uh, where the, the different things, like the schools and the hospitals, would be. Um, it just seems to go differently every time. So this one it seems to be the south yes, southeast corner here is uh, going better than anything else for some reason, so so be it. And what I'm gonna do here is uh, get the population up to about 50,000 down here. It's only at 5,000 now, but that will change quickly. Because uh, at around 50,000, I'll have, uh, I right, got the large elementary schools here. Large high schools will come next at about 6,000, which I'm at right now, so that should pop up any minute. And the deluxe police station is going to pop up at 41,000. So after about 50,000, I should have all those things. And I'll be able to uh, insert those in the map and then press play again and pretty much uh, carry on from there. One other thing I'm going to check here that I don't think I set properly. I uh, didn't do this quite right. I like to have these in around 11 once I press play. To 11. The dirty industrial manufacturing uh, at 11%. Um, that pretty much just keeps them from going. Um, but doesn't affect the uh, way the other industrial grows. And all the other ones there, as you saw, we're at 9%, and I keep that like that for quite a while until we get, I think it's around 500,000 population, and we'll change that. As you can see, I'm doing pretty good money-wise. Uh, still, I didn't make any large screw-ups or uh, mistakes. And um, since in this one, I only built the hospitals and things like that, it's not uh, a huge money drain either. There's sometimes where I press play, and it would be almost a negative 100,000 or so every month, which started eating away that money pretty quick, pretty quick uh, in the first couple of years of build out there. could do this one a little bit differently just for the sake of the video and uh, start building the, uh, the educational buildings since I'm pretty sure yep, we got them all. So the, uh, the large high schools I would put right in the center of each corner, one of them, and then another one would be in the center of the side section there. Um, that's this avenue here that I put that on, and that's directly the square in the middle between the two. And 
Next is going to be the large, high, uh, sorry, large elementary schools, which follow the same side pattern, um, just one along the avenue. Same with the hospitals there too, it's one along that middle avenue. But here, there's going to be three of them, and they're going to be semi in the middle here, just where they get the most coverage. Now you can see that uh, once we got the uh, educational buildings going in here, the population is starting to spread up a little bit quicker. Water pumps seem to be having their first big malfunction here though, and I'm probably going to have to uh, fix that in the next couple seconds or two, so that we can get out of control, as it seems to be. So for that, these ones I'm not going to use anymore, instead, the large water pumps go there. And uh, in most of my cities, I end up with about six or seven of those large water pumps by the end. Uh, but for now, I just need the two just to last me until about 100,000 population or so. I think it is. And back to building the uh, schools here, and then I'll go on to uh, police stations. Now normally I press pause and uh, do all this um, just without any uh, interference to the city at all, but uh, just for the sake of the video, might as well do it, do it in part of this, uh, as long as I don't end up screwing myself over here, which uh, I would doubt that I do, but yeah, here we go. So uh, same thing with the, uh, the police station, I just spread them out as much as possible across the entire map. The least amount of waste possible helps out, um, especially later on in the uh, development once money starts going crazier than that. It is now still in the low numbers here at the $100,000 per month. It goes uh, quite a bit higher than that once the uh, city is near the, the final build out phase. We'll see what I mean later on. Sometimes I'm not sure when I see little zones like that whether it's covered or not, but it looks like it's all covered there, so it's broken. As you can see, 
see down there, we're just about to crest over the uh, 100,000 mark of population, which uh, means that we're going to have quite a few little gifts here built as well. And I'll show you what I normally do with those too. Um, I have specific places for just about all of them. Before that though, let's just make sure I didn't screw up on the police here and uh, make sure we got everything covered. It's pretty well. Not exactly the best spacing. Um, some of them I, I took quite a bit of care uh, to space them as good as possible. Um, it makes a difference with about one police station. Um, less in uh, less in cost, which does make a difference overall, but uh, for the sake of the video I'm just going to speed through some of that stuff here and hope that it doesn't uh, screw me later on. If it does, then well, learn from my mistakes I suppose. But for the time being, uh, I'm going to double check the fire too while we're doing this. Uh, yeah, fire was pretty well, so I'm good there. So next is going to be uh, building some of these wonderful little things that they give us called the, uh, the gifts and they're all plopable and you can put them wherever you want but I've kind of developed specific places where I like each of them to be. Um, country clubs are hard one to place because it's so large. Um, some people don't like building it because there is some, yeah, like, uh, like it says there, there are some uh, downsides to it but the upside is always up and down in my opinion. So this time let's put it right about there. It's quite big there, it takes quite a big chunk of the grid. Put it right there and then put parks all along the outside of it. zone you might end up uh, scaring quite a bit of the high wealth off there. Even the medium wealth uh, isn't quite happy happy being next to a smokestack. Uh, what else? Let's see, this can be started here as well. Uh, each of my maps have six um, waste to energy and that pretty much stayed steady no matter how big the, city, the uh, cities end up getting. Um, the only thing I really changed was how many uh, recycling plants that I built. Some of them have quite a few, while others have, uh, well, by quite a few I mean like in the range of like 30 or 40, whereas other ones will have like closer to 20 maybe by the final, uh, once I'm uh, done everything else. So population is uh, growing quicker and quicker as you can see down there. So I'm going to check some of my budget stuff here too, just to make sure I'm in the right direction. And uh, yeah, it looks like I forgot quite a few things here. So next thing I'm going to do here is put all of the ordinances on, except three of them. And I'll show you which three it is here. It's Youth Curfew Act, Power Conservation Act, and Water Conservation Act are the ones that I don't put on. Everything else goes on. So all the uh, the really expensive ones too, um, like carpool, commuter, those ones add up quite quickly. Uh, Clean Air and Emissions uh, Reduction Act. I put all of them on. And it eats up quite a bit of money, but it's worth it. And, <laughs> that's right. I screwed up in that. Oh, perfect. Excellent time. Um, 
I screwed up there because uh, I forgot the ordinance at the very bottom is number four that I don't usually put right, in the, right away. It's the nuclear free zone. As soon as you click that, you blow up all your nuclear plants. Um, luckily, my population is just about uh, at the ripe stage of needing hydrogen power. So I can build one of those for now. And I like to surround it with these just so I can see it from, uh, from the region view later on so I can see where it is. Um, it goes at the absolute other end of the map from uh, where all the dirty stuff is down here. The hydrogen power plants don't produce any pollution or anything so they're uh, they're actually pretty uh, uh, pretty um, good for, uh, for businesses and things like that. Businesses end up putting themselves next to them uh, sometimes which is kind of funny. Got uh, pretty much all the waste infrastructure that I need down there. Wait a minute, I forgot to. I know what I forgot. Each time I do this, I forget it. I swear I probably forgot it 81 times for every time that I did this. I always build a little section of uh, landfill there. That helps me um, later on in the game. Sometimes I'll forget. To, I'll forget to check on these things like the. Uh, the lifespan, or the sorry, the condition of uh, waste energy plants and uh, water pumps and hydrogen power plants. Uh, something like the, the landfill down there is an immediate tip off as soon as you see it when it's filled up like that. You know, oh, whoops, maybe I forgot to, uh, to uh, replace my my power plants down there. So now that we got the uh, hydrogen power plant up there going. Water plant too, because I know I'm going to need another one of those pretty soon. Um, that our one hydrogen power plant can only build the one. I don't know if it's going to be enough to be honest, but we're going to find out pretty quickly here. Um, garbage, 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 pretty much garbage. And health and education can now be bumped up as well. So just sort of halfway up there. Just uh, the point where the expenses start outnumbering the uh, the income. And press play again and see if we have enough power to run this city. And we do by quite a bit, actually more than I thought we would have by uh, by this stage of the game. Yeah, usually when I'm coming close to 200,000 is when I start building you know, the second hydrogen power plant. But I guess whatever's going on in the city does not require that. I think I know what that is actually, that's, yeah, that's what it is, I haven't built too many of the, uh, the gifts yet, those, some of these, um, use quite a bit of power as well. So, while we're letting the, uh, the city continue to build, let's start on these. Um, never too picky about what I put where, with the exception of the dirty stuff and churches all go down the bottom dirty section of the corner here um, and the graveyards as well go down here uh, private schools I never really cared I know some people are really picky where they put things like this but uh, I just chuck them wherever in the residential zone so just chuck them there another church let's put her down here by the airport radio station would fit nicely right there. Another church. Sure, let's check the TV station down there too. Uh, another graveyard right there. <coughs> City Hall. Commercial buildings I put right in the center of the map um, or I mean uh, top of buildings that help the commercial uh, side of things um, like the uh, convention center things like that I check them right in the center oh, you know what I don't want to 
Oh, I already, yeah, that's what they were just said there. Um, I was thinking just a second ago I could uh, plop them all in some special design, but uh, it takes a little bit more effort. And I've already put the, uh, the golf course down here, so I'd have to redo that section too if I wanted to uh, start making it look all different this time. Put the uh, minor league stadium here, unceremoniously destroying the uh, businesses that were there beforehand. statues here I usually stick uh, in the residential um, sections. Um, different areas but this time let's put them right on the corners between the residential and the industrial. Where did it go? I just lose it. I did just lose it. Didn't I? Huh, just went away. How about that? Uh, so let's forget the other one for now. Hopefully it comes back later on. The movie studio. Right about here. And let's keep the stadiums together this time. I did that quite often in, uh, in the cities. It doesn't really, really matter. Um, you guys trying to build their road. destroy another road here. All the demand is uh, picking up here because uh, how fast things build up, even though they don't have uh, roads and things going to them. Another one here, uh, also not too important where I put it, but let's chuck her down. Let's go right here this time. About that size, yeah, there is. There's a few maps where I, uh, I took extra care to, uh, to zone in some really uh, interesting things here. Oh, I'll probably press the both buttons at once here again. Oh, I can't. Um, there's a few maps where I took extra care um, and put uh, all these ploppables in the center in a specific way um, to make like 4x4 four four zones and things like that that I don't really use that often. In, uh, this project anyways, um, but I put them uh, all around the center here just to see if we could do 
starts to develop a little bit. It did a little bit. And they look, there are different buildings obviously as well, which is kind of fun. another reason to do it. But uh, I won't focus too much on this one just because I want to build it out and finish these videos um, without too much putting around. And uh, the next thing I just realized I forgot was uh, libraries and museums. Um, which is kind of a downer because now I've got uh, some of these tall buildings popping up here. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. And that might be uh, around the point where I've cut this video off. But let's have a look here if I can get that done real quick here. Um, Museums, if I remember right, I just put one. What was it? One in each corner. One in each corner and one on each straightaway, I believe it was. So let's go with that. And they, luckily, they fit in right square, kind of like the. They're the same size as the fire department, so they fit nicely in between the uh, the subways and the roads there. So I can put them just about anywhere, which is nice. Yeah, it's not too, not too surprising that I forgot it. Uh, almost every map I forgot something. Um, usually don't realize it until later on if I realize it at all. Sometimes I don't realize it until I notice that something's horribly, horribly wrong with the city. Um, anyways, on to libraries. Um, they're a little bit different shape, but what I often did with them is stick them somewhere like that so that the two uh, two zones right on the other edge of it um, can still develop as uh, the one by ones squares. Uh, let's do these ones first because they're going to have to build uh, something else in just a second here. I think I've seen power fluctuating. Let's do these corner ones first. Power's getting close, water's getting close, well, garbage is fine. Not too surprising because I got quite a bit of it down there. Um, but let's build some more water and power infrastructure. At this point of the game, I always go for overkill. Um, just so I don't have to build it again for another little while while I'm waiting for it. Oh, when I don't have the hydrogen power plants yet. Why is that? I should have full access to those at this point of the game. Um, I might just have to uh, save and reload the map here. Press play for one second. I should have a lot more gifts here to the map. Maybe a lot more, but a couple. No, oh, only one. Scratch that. Maybe I have books to put it in. Um, anyways. I'm gonna cut it off here and uh, at about 600,000, that's not too bad for uh, this many years into it. But uh, I'm gonna cut this one off here and then start part seven uh, shortly. So, see you then.